What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Jimmy G7. We're back with another video. Alright guys, so um you ever heard of a brand called Um Ariat? Uh they're a well-known company for boots, for uh work boots, like steel toe boots, non-slip boots, um, things like that. And then they have uh, shoes that are uh laced and uh, some are slip-ons. So why I'm making a video about this. Cause I'm getting tired buying new boots every year and it costs me money. Um, the boots that I have uh, cost $220 and um, they only last me about a year. And this is my second pair. And it, is, it just don't last uh, as, what they, uh, as what other people have been using um, many years ago, actually probably like probably seven years ago. No, I take that away. Five, five or seven years ago, um, I have seen uh, people that work at uh, at the plant, like Kingdom Morgan. If you haul crude, uh, hard crude oil for a long time, like me, because I've been hauling crude oil for the last ten years, uh, for a full decade when I was in trucking, I hauled for a company, um, uh, Gemini Motor. Uh, Gemini uh, Motor. Um, they are owned by Loves, and I also work for Martin Transport for hauling crude oil. I work for Energy Gibson. I work for um, QC. I have worked for um, what's the other company called? I have worked a lot of places that involve in crude oil. Okay, and you know, in my lifetime, every time I go to a plant or if I go to a place where you where we offload, such as such as over here at Channel View, Texas, or over there at Caldwell, Texas, or Bryan, uh, Texas, there, there's a place that we offload crude oil. And everybody don't how to know what crude oil does. Crude oil is from the oil from the ground, right? So you pull up, it's raw. Our job is to check it to make sure it's crude oil, no paraffin, no junk, no gunk, no that uh, that brown uh, sand and all that stuff. We just want the oil. We, our job is to pick up the oil and bring it to um, the off station pump uh, pump plant over in uh, Channel View. That's back in my day. Now this you know this has been happening for the past seven years now. They're deli delivering it over there in um, Bryan, Texas. Anyhow, every time I see a person that works there at the plant or at the offsite, and I will wear those Walmart uh, Walmart boots back in the time. You know they cost like thirty five dollars, um, lace, um, chunky, not that very comfortable, and there's something just I can get by, and I have to re renew them every. Eight months, okay, six to eight months, they will go out, and I would buy them again, and buy them again, buy them again every time. So I asked these guys, "Hey, what kind of shoes are you wearing?" They said, "I'm wearing our red boots." I said, "Well, how good are they?" And they said, "They're good, man. I like them. I mean, uh, affordable, um, comfort, comfort, comfort wise, they're they're not bad." And um, he he recommended it to me, and then you know all these other years that I've been hauling crude oil, I see other people wear red wing boots. So, and I have asked them, and I said, yeah, they're expensive, but I didn't pay for it. The company paid for it, so the company bought me new boots, so that was a big thing. You know, I, I, you know, even though I make money, good money in crude oil, I didn't have a whole lot, because, you know, boots, you know, red wing boots are really expensive. Anyhow, why I brought this up? Here is my old pair of Iret boots, okay? So, these boots here, this is my second pair um they're not lasting every year i have to buy new boots every year i'm hoping my new pair that i'm about to show you last over a year okay hypothetically okay and um i thought red wings was like 500 800 uh 600 you know maybe a thousand dollar for those kind of boots because uh the leather and it's all handmade Okay, and the quality, it's zero to none. I mean, like, you know, everybody talks so highly about Red Wings and how long they last and how long they beat the crap on them, going to work every day, abusing them, and they just last, you know, and I never got the money to, to get around to it. So these boots here, if you're wondering, it's called a Red brand, okay, that I was mentioned by other people um that works at the uh pump station where off of the crude oil and they will have these kind of type of boots these boots here man they they are right comfort wise they're okay it's decent quality i'm a decent comfort it's not like super comfortable 
but they're decent, you know, and they do the job. They're sterile toes, they're waterproof, um, comfort, decent comfort is there, and they get the job done, okay? So, I like these boots. And I'm, the fact that I like them because they're waterproof, I will, when I do flatbed now, so I like, I do lumber and steel a lot, but there are some places that when we go to a staging area that we um, strap on our load or tarp our load, there'll be water just past my ankle. And the one thing I do not want to do is worry about water going in my shoe and soak up my sock, okay? I, I have water will literally go up to here, okay? And, would they, and these, these shoes did the job. They, have, they didn't have water going in my shoe, soak up my sock, my feet are all wet. They do their job, okay? My, my mind is to strap down the load, tarp if that load is, if it's raining, and it's obviously gonna be raining because you know, the water in the area where I start my load has water up the ass, up, the, up to here. So I don't wanna worry about that. I'm worried about getting my load done, do my job, deliver the load, make my money, hustle, and go home, okay? Just like everybody else, okay? So these boots here, okay? Um, you know what? I'm gonna put another extra towel right here because these shoes are dirty and we're gonna dive down close why they don't last, okay? Catch you guys in a bit. All right, guys, we're back. Okay, so I have the camera zoomed out a little bit more. That way you guys get that picture idea. Okay, this happened last year. It was my left foot. Now it's my right foot, okay? It's, it, just, it just does, okay? These boots here, look at this. One year ownership. Look, it coming put. I even put. I try to put uh, JB Weld. I try to put super glue to hold this in place. Water will go in here and will go inside my shoe. It will go in my in my foot and soak up my sock. My feet will get wet and, and it gets you know squishy, stink, you know with odor. This stuff it just don't last. Okay, look at the back here. Look, look at this. I put JB Weld. It only lasted about a month and it came off again. And I just left it like that. I just been wearing it like this. Okay. These boots, they look, look at this side. Look at this. Okay. Showing you proof here. Okay. Through this brand. Okay. That I want to show you. Okay. Through this battery here. Every year I had to buy new boots. This year is this foot here, my right foot. Last year was my left foot. Okay, same thing. This one here has a little bit of life left to it. Okay, a little bit of life left to it, but it's gonna go out. Look, you can see it's already getting ready to come off. Okay, okay, you can literally see it. They, they just don't last. Okay, they last a year. You gotta buy a new pair. You know these boots. When I bought them, you're looking at about two twenty a pop for one pair, and I, I and. You know, I have, and these are work boots, and you know, work boots is is not um, a regular shoe that you wear tennis shoes to go to work. Okay, there are places that you go to uh, lumber mill, chemical plant, uh, steel mills. Um, you know, majority they want you wear steel steel toe boots, and they're actually work boots. Okay, they don't want you to wear Crocs. They don't want you want you to wear sandals. They don't want you to wear um tennis shoes running shoes basketball shoes and all that no they don't want you to wear all that and especially when they really are high concern in safety and when they're really high concern in full ppe gear which is personal protection equipment you have to have it in order to be on their web uh, on their on their um workplace on their property you have to have it to do your job you don't have all the stuff to do it then that gonna let you um do your job okay and if you don't have all your gear you know they may let you get out you know let you go say hey you cannot get a load here you don't have your full PP gear here we're gonna load you if you don't have a hard hat if you don't have a safety glasses if you don't have steel toe boots if you don't have a reflective vest if you don't have uh that's just most common and if you if you go to a chemical plant uh if you don't have an h2s monitor if you don't have um uh uh, uh frc which is fire uh, fire retarded clothing um if you don't have a jumpsuit that is not fire uh fire uh retarded clothing you know things like this they will not let you work okay there are some mills and there are some plants well actually majority majority of the plants 
they take their safety seriously. They take the PPE gear seriously, okay? Now, I haul flatbed, I do lumber and steel, okay? I've been to certain mills and I've been to steel mills. They don't play that game. You don't have your full PPE gear, you're not welcome here, okay? If you don't have PPE gear, they will not load you. They will not give you the load, okay? You, you can't work. You have to have all your gear in order for you to work. If you don't have the gear to work, okay, you cannot make money, okay? You have to have your safety gear. You have to have everything before they let you work, okay? It's the nature of the business, okay? They worry about safety. They rather have you have your all your PPE gear, and then something ha and, and 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 you don't have your PPE gear, and then, and then something happens to you. Then they claim that oh that guy didn't have his uh, PPE gear, okay? So boots is the one number one thing. If you don't have boots, it doesn't have to be waterproof, but it has to be steel toe boots, work boots, okay? It don't have to be this particular boot. It can be a, a shoe that has laces considered as a boot, okay? As long as it has steel toe boots, okay? And these guys don't take it lightly, okay? I'm telling you. But I, this company here makes this shoe. Look at this, okay? Last year was my left shoe. This year is my right shoe. I'm tired of this, okay? I'm tired spending my money my hard work and money that these shoes only last for a year i wear this five days a week not not weekends only during the week and i don't uh, uh i walk okay I, I walk somewhat a lot but we're truck drivers we do mostly driving the truck if i drive a truck okay as a truck driver why they come out like this we don't, we walk a lot, but we don't walk like we're walking, um, you know, 10 miles a day, you know, then I'll stand the wear and tear on this. As a truck driver, why are they like this? You know, we're doing mostly the driving the truck. Our job is to strap down the load, tarp the load, secure a load, regardless if it's chemical or it's lumber or it's steel, it doesn't matter. We do our job, secure the load, and we get back in the truck and we start driving. We got to drive to deliver the load, right? Once we deliver a load, we offload a load and go get another one. And that's how you're making money. You're hauling loads. The more loads you do, the more money you make, right? But how in the hell, as a truck driver, having steel kind of boots with well, this kind of type of boot does this to your shoe? It doesn't make any sense, okay? It just don't. And this is the reason why I'm really upset about this. Every year, I got to spend $220 or more for this brand here, for a brand new pair of shoes every goddamn year. I'm just tired of it, okay? So this is my all red boot. I will no longer buy these anymore. I mean, they're all right. They do the job, but they don't last. They really don't last. I'm telling you, they really don't last. Okay, I'm tired of it. And knowing that, the bottom of the shoe, okay? This is what it looks like the bottom of the shoe. I'm gonna show you that, okay? Um, they have grooves in it, but this is not an, uh, a slip. Uh, you know how you get on a slippery surface? Let's say you climb on top of your trailer or like especially a flatbed and you know when it's been raining on pretty heavily or whatever whatnot and it's wet and you tend to slip and slide a little bit here and there okay this one here it's okay okay um matter of fact um this friday when i delivered a load it was raining out of tarp twice uh, and untarped twice uh hauling a flatbed uh i was on top of my trailer and i talked my load tarping my load as as i got down on top of the load my right foot slipped on the flatbed and I fell off my trailer on the floor. Okay, my, so my right foot's kind of uh, hurting a little bit right now. But this is not a non-slip. It is what it is, you know. So, you know, whatever. I, I You can buy them if you guys have them. If they work for you, great. To me, they, they don't work, okay, work well for me. Okay, so I had streamed by a store yesterday and picked up this. Okay, I picked up the, some Red Wings. So this is my very first pair owning Red Wings. I never owned Red Wings before. Um, uh, I always buy, when I start um, uh, wearing steel toe boots and hauling crude oil, I was wearing um, steel toe uh, shoelace boots. They're, they're like a, they look like a, Hiking boots, but they, they, they call them steel toe boots, okay? And I will wear them for two, three years, you know, actually uh, for the past uh, six years driving trucks, okay? But owning this, okay, I only own my Arab for two years, but I have to re 
I have to keep buying them every year, okay? So, you know, it, it takes a beating when we're working. So this is my very first owning a Red Wing shoe, and um, I took a hit. Does this cost more? Yes. Does this cost more than this brand? Yes, it does. Um, these shoes, they, they get up in price, okay? But I didn't pick the most expensive one. I only picked uh, close around or more nearly around the age that I bought the other shoe for. Uh, so this one here, you're looking about uh, $208 for these boots, okay? $208. And since I was a, a first time customer and you know, due to Black Friday right coming on the corner and they have a little deal, they gave me 10% off, okay? So I ended up paying um, two, two, $250, 240 right from there, okay? So they gave me, um, um, they helped me out with the shoe, they processed my foot, see my size, they gave me 10% off the price, plus um, the person that worked there hooked me up. I don't even know the person, and she was a very nice lady. She gave me an employee discount as well. Um, I wasn't expecting it. I just came for for a better shoe, and they helped me out. Okay, uh, these are Red Wing shoes here. Okay, I highly recommend them. They are super super comfortable compared to this shoe here. Okay, this shoe here was decent. Okay, decent comfort. It wasn't all that. Okay, it was decent comfort. I test these suckers on just with my sock. Okay, they are hella comfortable. Okay. Um, I was looking for more of a um, plain, um, plain looking um, design on the boot. Okay, I didn't want anything too fancy. You know, I, I work and do my job and go home. Okay, I did not worry about the, what it has, the pattern, the color. I wanted like this plain color, no design, just go to work. Okay, they had one more like this at Red Wings, but they didn't have my size. They ran out. So okay, so what's the next step up? So there were two more. There were they had three boots in my uh, in my sh uh, in my foot size, but the other one was out of stock. So they had two more size, uh, two more uh, boots that I can choose from for my size. They had this one here, and um, the other one was the exact same thing. It's just this was more of a yellow or well, yellow orange color, and the boot was more like bright brown. Like a lighter brown. This is a darker brown. So I choose this one here because it's darker brown. You know, when we work, it, the, the, these boots here does get dirty um, kind of quick. And I, I want more of a clean look and just show too much, you know, um, nasty color, like, you know, dirt and grind and all that. So I went with a darker brown, way darker brown. Uh, I'm not a fan of the color too much. I really want to play with that, but it's okay. You know, I, I'll work with it. So this is a red wing boot. Um, uh, waterproof okay rear ring waterproof and then um this is a different language it's still toe boots and then one thing i did not know they had was this design here this is a non-slip so if you work in wet conditions or you work with oily surface in the area where you be work um you know walking on this is a non-slip so if it worked you work in the rain Good benefit right here if you work with chemicals, it's like oily and uh, non slip. Will help out a lot right here. This is nice. This is actually a newer design as well. And I obviously like it. I, wore, I try it on. I walk around the store a little bit. Super hella comfortable. Okay. And look, it's right here waterproof. Okay. So, you know, I, I have water will go up to here. Okay. And I just want to do my job. I don't have to worry about, you know, water going in my shoe, in my foot, in my, in my shoe. So, my very first pair owning these boots, and I highly recommend them. Are they expensive? You look at about probably fifty dollars more, okay. And if you want to pay a little bit more, you can you can put another one hundred fifty dollars more to get a better boot than this if you want to. I don't want a decked out boot. You know, I just want a boot that will last me for over the year, okay, two or three years. You know, I'm expecting out of it the most, you know, and it gets the job done and have it super 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 comfortable okay and overall wear okay so i have one year warranty through red wings and throughout this shoe's lifetime if i start seeing any scuffs on the leather from what they told me you know from wear and tear if you see a discoloration or you start seeing scuff on the leather a little bit bring these shoes into your red wing store 
and they will oil re-oil and reapply the oil to your boot and then put it on your boot the whole entire boot okay on the top right here okay and then they said they'll take about five eight minutes to do it and then they give it back to you and then you'll be on your way so and that's through lifetime owning the same boot but the boot has one year warranty okay um i hear some miss hiccups here with red rings if you buy online um you have one year warranty you can exchange them okay uh if you do online if you buy at a store i heard certain stores won't able to cover the warranty they want you to send it back through the through online or you know through the manufacturer so you can get a warranty i hear uh, ups and downs about that but most of the majority part i hear nothing but good things about red wings okay so this this you know this next year coming up i'm starting tomorrow i'll be wearing these all the way through next year see how these boots hold up and um you know i hear nothing but good things about red, red wings and i'm willing to do it okay so give and take that's the red wing i'm you know, I'm going to be rocking these bad boys, go to work, make my money, and, you know, do my job. And I'm, a, and I'm happy with my purchase. I really am. And since I was there, I didn't know they had this. Okay. So, Red Wings recommend this for here if you're wearing this kind of type of boot. And you know how people, when you take off your shoe, you use your heel to take off your shoe. They asked me to, buy, to go, they told me to go and they recommend this, is to buy this. Okay, if you're not the person that bend over to take off your boot and you use your two feet to take off the boot off each other, they highly recommend getting this. That way, um, the boot uh, lasts a bit longer and um, it's, uh, um, what do you call it? Um, it doesn't um, damage your leather, okay, on your boot. So this was his uh, 1099. It looks like it's handmade, which I, I think it is. Um, this part here is very, very soft. It's like a cow, not not soft, but it's like a cow leather feel. Okay, I don't know what kind of material this is, but it looks like a cow leather feel. Um, if you look closely, it is handmade. Okay. Um, they add grooves here and they staple it to the bottom of the of this board. Okay. Mallory's made in texas usa this is made in usa they add another support right here and they add another support here so what you do is uh you put this on the floor you you put your left if you're going to take your right foot off you put your left foot right here to hold it down you put your left your right foot okay over here okay like that and then you pull your foot up and this will support you know like this yeah this foot right here will support as you're trying to remove your shoe at home, it gives it more support, okay? So you stick it in like this, and you raise it up, and um, uh, it gives more support, and um, that way it doesn't damage the bottom of the, of the back of the shoe here when you remove your foot. So they highly recommend this if I, you know, wearing this kind of type of boot. So, you you know, this is, this is on the floor, you, your other your other foot will land on this to hold it as a support in place. You take your boot, put it in, and then you remove it. Okay, and it's faster, it's more convenient, and to take off your boot while you're at home. I said, okay, yeah, I'll give it a try. It, it's not that expensive, you know. It's only like eleven bucks, you know. So I decided to give it a try, um, and I bought this as well through uh, over at Red, Red, Red Wing store. This was. Um, Located in uh, the store that I went to it was Red Wing store uh, right across the freeway of Memorial City Mall and I hear nothing but good things. It was a I, I Google mapped it. It was 4.7 star. I wanted a place to give it a try. I was in the area and I was looking for boot. I needed boots badly. So, you know, I'm happy with this purchase right here. So if you're looking for Red Wings, the comfort is there. The quality, it's there, okay? Um, one year warranty, um, you can't beat that, man. Now, this here had like maybe maybe a year warranty, and uh, I bought this through uh, Cavender, okay? This is where I bought this uh, Everett shoe here uh, from Cavender store, and when I brought them saying that, hey, this bomb part here is coming off, uh, you guys cover it. I said, no, we don't. Um, they will not cover it. 
and um if you want you can give it a try at the website um at Arid website and submit your trouble form about this issue here because they're supposed to last over a year they don't um i had emailed this company here uh a good two uh, like two three times i never got to hear back the support team uh sucks um customer service at over that cavender's they suck. They don't want to warranty it. They look. I brought this shoe in there. Uh, shoe the uh, this shoe to them, and I show them what's going on. They tell me, yeah, they, they won't cover it, and uh, they want you to go ahead and just buy another boot. Okay, so bringing this shoe here for warranty coverage, they don't want to even want to um, cover it, and um, send me somewhere else. Try to contact the manufacturer. Try to email them to support about this issue here. Um, I submit my form, um, nothing. Okay, and, and I did this every year, no, no response, and you know I never got around to uh, find out another better alternative. So this year I decided to go ahead and take a step up, and you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and get Red Wings. I'm not gonna buy the other shoe anymore. This shoe here costs more than the other one. Yes, for sure. I promise you it is. But the quality and the comfort is way better than the other shoe. Um, this is going to be my year running these shoes and we'll see how it goes, but it's super, super comfortable, man. It's second to first to none, man. I mean, I highly recommend these red ring shoes. You pay for what you get. You know how people say, um, you pay for what you get. That's very, very true. Okay. That is very, very true. And you know, um, you guys know I have my own, uh, I have my own, uh, uh, another YouTube channel called Another Level Arms. You know, my guns are not cheap. <laughs> you know, my guns are, you know, quite expensive. So you pay for what you get, you know. So I took more uh, in care of buying these boots. I want to give these guys a try, see how it goes. This is my very first owning Red Wing shoes. And let's see how, uh, see how it holds up. I, I, I hope I lost. Uh, not lost. I hope it lasts over a year. If I can get two to three years out of this shoe, I'll be happy as hell, man. Because I can't keep coughing up two hundred twenty dollars to replace this shoe every goddamn year. I, 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 this is stupid. Okay, I wear this every day, Monday through Friday. Go to work, go home. That's it. Weekends, I wear my tennis shoes. I don't wear these shoes on the weekends. I only wear this when I go to work and when I go drive my truck and go to work. Okay. But look at this, man. Everett won't cover this. Cavender's store, they don't want to cover this. They don't want to warranty this. Uh, customer service at Cavender, it is good, okay? But when it comes to warranty, they suck ass in warranty. They don't even want to cover it, okay? So seeing a shoe like this, okay, uh, I will never buy another brand again, okay? I'm not saying the brand is not good. The boot did, a the boot did its job, okay, to last a year or just a little bit under a year it did its job okay i give you that but it doesn't last more than uh, more than that it don't it just don't okay i'm not trying to dog the brand okay i'm not trying to dog this brand here but i'm gonna tell you the truth you have this brand here they don't they just don't last man i'm telling you they just don't last okay this is my second pair i will never buy a pair from them again they lost me as a customer they lost me as a client and they will not get my money out of my pocket anymore for, for that okay I, I i i spend good money quality on boots so it does its job protects me give me comfort waterproof super resistance and lasts over here is that is that is that too much to ask i'm not it's not and the reason why i re require to have all those requirements is because i take my job seriously okay i take my job very seriously when i go to work to make my money okay when i go through these plants and these mills and these wood lumber mills and steel mills or if i go to a chemical plant they cannot give me a hassle because i have steel toe boots work boots non uh non-slip resistance uh, no i was slip resistance and leather and comfort waterproof you cannot dog me or kick me out of the place just because I don't have my PPE gear. I take my PPE gear um, seriously, okay? But I want to get my load, deliver a load, make my money, you know, and this protects my feet, okay? So 
who doesn't want to wear tennis shoes or crocs on a work that's a luxury lifestyle okay um for truck drivers a lot of truck drivers do it yeah if you're, if you're hauling dry van if you're hauling reefer you're gonna be sitting a lot but you don't have to they don't make you wear um steel toe boots they don't make you wear a uh, hard hat they'll make you wear a, a city vest okay that way you have a city vest but they don't make you wear a hard hat they don't make you wear steel toe boots they don't make you wear safety glasses you know the drive van and the reefer had to be easy they don't deal with mills like flatbed and construction materials or chemical plant uh, materials they don't deal with all that okay so the drive van and the reefer the people haul reefer they got it made they can wear shorts they can wear pajamas and go to work and, and deliver the load and no one can tell them nothing okay because it's it, it's, it's it's not a hard thing it's not chemical it's not like a very strict um uh uh plant they go into to get a load okay they don't so for us flatbed people we have to we have to have, to have this gear here if we're hauling billets if we're hauling coils if we're hauling pipes if we're hauling construction barriers if we're hauling uh construction equipment if we're hauling if we're going to the uh to the mill if we're going to a lumber mill uh steel mill you know their plants they don't take um you know that stuff lightly okay so you gotta have your pp gear i have seen truck drivers that still wear crocs and slip-ons to the mill plant and and they get away with them they do they really get away with them but when the manager comes around when a supervisor comes around or the very big boss that owns that plant comes around and see you wear crocs you're not wearing your safety gear uh your safety vest on you're not wearing your hard hat on they will not load you okay they will not but the people that that work there at the receiving or shipping place some of them care some don't so if you wear crocs to a mill plant or a steel plant and, and, the, and you got away with it all right go ahead and keep on going but when the big boss comes around and you're wearing that good luck okay good luck they will kick you out of that plant you have your do you have your uh steel toe boots on you don't have your safety glasses on you don't have your hard hat on you don't have your safety vest on sorry we can't load you okay call your dispatch go somewhere else Okay, simple as that. All right, guys, this is my review on the Red Wing shoe. Very super comfortable. I tried them on. They they actually when I went to the store at Red Wing Shoes, man, the customer service is n zero to none, man. They were so welcome there. Uh, sir, may I help you? It was me and my wife. I came. I, I explained my situation. I got some other boots. I was trying to tell them about this boots here that I have. And you know, I, I I didn't bring this pair with me because uh, uh I forgot to bring the pair to show it to them. But I told them this is what I need. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and measure your size. Um, uh, well, we're gonna see what fits your size. We give you a selection of the size of the shoes that that fit your foot, and you pick the style. Okay, do you want to you want to pull up a uh, pull up, um a slip on pull up and uh, undone. Or you want uh, shoelace. And that's why I want slip-ons. I don't want to deal with tying shoes. So I picked these. I tried them on. Test the comfort. Um, these shoes here was very snug to get it in on my foot. But they went to the back and they kind of reshaped it with their, with their hands or whatever a little bit. And they got to uh, open up a little more. And now it works just great. Um, I tried them on. Walked, their, uh, walked a couple of laps around the store a little bit super super comfortable um these are more expensive yes but in my eyes i say they're very more worth it i have one year warranty ain't it wrong with the as long as i own this pair of shoes through the wet wings ain't it wrong with the leather or it start being discolored or start having uh, scuffs on it bring the shoe uh to any to any red wing store they'll reapply the oil they rebuff it that way the leather lasts longer and if you take care of the shoe the shoe will last longer that's what they told me and um yeah you're more welcome to come by you ain't wrong with the shoe you know yeah when you want to bring them back we'll take care of you thumbs up to red wings for the customer service over the store over there uh the one right across from memorial street mall rare Wing, Wing shoes okay i'm gonna try this for a year i hope it lasts more than a year okay see how it goes but so far my experience going through the store picking up the shoes on, trying it on, sizing my feet, okay? Second to none, customer service is so professional, polite people out there, very welcome, okay? 
all right guys that's all right now for these red ring shoes here um i say give them a try okay i hear nothing but good things through all these years as a truck driver uh working in chemical uh work working in chemical plants for the past decade of my life every one of them that had red wings highly recommend them okay they never every one of them that, that had red wing shoes did not mention this brand okay they didn't even mention this brand but the ones that do wear this brand uh, they say it's good but they didn't swear by it like man that's the best shoe ever no they didn't say that they say yeah it's, it's good you know i never had wrong i've had problem with the shoes yet they they it, it worked for me I said, okay, I will give them a try. So, and they're actually cheaper than Red Wings. That's what they told me. I said, okay, yeah, I'll give them a try. And I did give them a try. They only last me one, um, they only last me eight months to a year. And other than that, that's it. All right, guys, that's all I have right now. Thank you for watching. Um, I want to try these Red Wings shoes out. I hope this review shows you um, if you're looking for some work boots, I highly recommend them. Okay. Um, I'm going to give them a, a, a try this year and see how it goes because this you know work boots is important you know when you kind of dealing with uh, chemical plants and lumber mills and steel mills you got to have them if you want to if you want to work and make money okay so this will help a lot all right guys thank you for watching please give me a thumbs like hit the notification bell down below hit the um hit the subscribe button down below also if you're into guns plate carriers uh weapon lights uh rifles pistols 1911s 2011s striker fire pistols and all that stuff and also, uh, Second Amendment News, check out my other YouTube channel, Another Level Arms. I'll add the links to the very bottom of the video as well. And also, on this channel here, um, I'll add a playlist if you want to check out other uh, videos, which is my car videos, my paintball videos, my work adventure videos, my food log, uh, food log uh, videos, my vacation videos. Um, it's all down there and below on this on this channel. But if you want um, all about rifles and guns and gear and... and uh, Second Amendment news and all that stuff. Check out my other channel, Another Level Arms. All right, guys, thank you for your free love and support. Let's give these shoes a, sh uh, sh a shout out and let's run them, send them out. I'm as long as I'm wearing these shoes here, I'm not gonna be picky. I'm gonna abuse them. I'm gonna use them. I'm gonna wear them out. Do what I can, not on purpose though, but throughout the day I'm working. These shoes here, they're gonna take abuse. Okay, I'm not going to be nice to these shoes. I'm not. They're made to be worn. They're made to go to work and take the hit. Okay, that's what Red Wings claims. And this, and then I did the exact same thing with this brand. So, yeah, if you fail on me like this, I'm not buying your shoe anymore. Okay, I give you guys a second try with this company here, Everett Brand right here. I gave them the second try already. And my left foot was like this. Now, this shoe here is my right foot. I'm not buying them anymore. That's it. You lost me as a customer service. You lost me as a customer. I'm not buying these anymore. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Peace. You have a wonderful weekend. Catch you in the next one.